As a result of flash flooding that affected Pike County last week, some residents may be wondering if and when they'll receive help. Tuesday, we spoke with Pike County Judge Executive Ray Jones about damage and what options residents may have. Well, most roads have been opened back up. We think air damage to county roads and infrastructure is going to be somewhere around a million half dollars. That will qualify us for public assistance through FEMA. Uh, that will provide 75% federal funding for the damage the county has, uh, has sustained. It will be, uh, the state will pick up 12% and then the county pays 13%. Uh, same thing is true with like public utilities like Mountain Water, the Power Company, and the State Highway Department. So we think we'll qualify for federal assistance. The bad part is that a lot of the individuals who've been impacted by flooding uh, may not be. There's simply not enough structural damage to private homes to qualify for assistance. I mean, the good part is we didn't have enough damage. The bad part under the FEMA guidelines is that the homeowners who've been impacted uh, may very well not qualify for federal assistance. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Although residents may not qualify for individual assistance, Jones adds that the American Red Cross may be able to help. Unfortunately, though, the, the, some of these homes that have been destroyed, many of those homes did not have flood insurance. Uh, one home was destroyed as a result of a, uh, of a landslide. Uh, likely not covered by homeowners insurance because of, of the uh, earth movement issue. Uh, most insurance policies uh, exclude that type of damage. So, you know, we do encourage people to buy flood insurance if you live in the floodplain. Afterwards, Jones advised that residents with damage should contact Pike County Emergency Management for proper documentation. Uh, if there is an area of county road uh, close to your home on your creek, uh, you have a question about whether that's been documented, let us know that. We probably already have documented it, but it doesn't hurt to make sure. Uh, again, we're just thankful that no one was killed or injured as a result of this event. It could have been much, much worse. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.